We are back and what a way to come back as we take on Bristol City in the FA Cup third round in the club's biggest game ever. Can we progress into round four in today's episode of Walks to the FA Cup? Hello guys, it's me, Bad Jokes, back at you once again with another video and today guys, we've got episode number 27 of the Kings Lynn Walks to Prem Save here on Football Manager 2020 and just before we do get started today guys, if you're enjoying the series so far, please do pop a mahoosive thumbs up down below, every thumbs up, every like really does help the channel out with the mighty YouTube algorithm. So if you could do that, I'd love you guys and girls forever and ever. And so, into the video. We've got Bristol City today. Big, massive game. FA Cup, third round, at home. Ah, oh, this should be very, very good. And the main thing it should be good for is the finances. Because if we have a look at the minute, they're dwindling just a bit because we've gone from about a year and a half ago being on 1.1 million to now falling down to 605k. So yeah, we really, really need a boost and this should give us it. Not sure how much. I don't think the game's on TV. So maybe just a couple hundred grand. But even that would be quite nice. Even that would push us a bit nearer the million pound mark again. And coming right at the start of January as well. Very nice time to get it halfway through the season. And so, let's have a look at how we've been getting on since we was last together. We have only played four games. So, if we just have a look at those games here. The last one on video was the win against Port Vale to set up today's episode. But then following that... We had a 0-0 draw with Spennymoor Town. And as you can see by the match stats here, we had 19 shots to their 9. And 11 on target to their 2. 53% of the possession. So how we didn't win that game, I'm not quite sure. Uh, we have a look here and have a look at a bit of the analytics. Adam Marriott made one mistake. Mbala made four Oh, ouch. Might have to look at him, but you never know. And then let's move on to the next game. And that was a 2-1 defeat against Chorley after extra time in the FA Trophy. And yeah, you can see there, we deserve to lose that game. In fact, if I just move myself, move myself out of the way, I'll just get in the middle here somewhere. Somewhere nice and random. No, what? Let's go up here. No, let's go here. Well, hey, we'll go there. So yeah, you can see, 28 shots, 2 are 12, 13 on target, 2 are 4, 51% of the ball, 5 clear-cut chances, 2 are 2. Yeah, we didn't deserve to win that one, did we, boys? And so we rightly didn't. They've got Nathan Delfonso. Didn't he used to play for Villa? I swear he used to play for Villa. Yeah, he did. See, I can remember things. I've got a good memory. And yeah, who else he play for? Leicester, Blackpool. Yeah, oh, he's still only 31. How truly have got him, I don't know. But, oh well. And then the next one is the one win we have had since we have been parted. It was against Tamworth. Diaz Wright and Romain Mundell with the goals. We was level on shots, 12 apiece. But we had 7 on target, 2 there, 3. Five on target, two there, four. Three clear-cut chances, 55% of the possession. So I think you can say, on balance, we was the better team on the day. And so thankfully, we did get that win. But then, the last game we had was against FC United in the league. 3-1 defeat there. And as you can see again, 20 shots to their te to our 10, sorry. Five on target, two there, nine. Uh, four clear-cut chances to our none. Wow. But we did dominate the ball, but we just didn't do enough with it. 
And in fact, it was an own goal that really killed the game off for us from Tyreek Wilson. So, yeah, not the best one of results. But that does all mean that we are still in the playoff picture. We are fourth in the league. And we are what? I've got to do some maths now. 13 points? Yep, that's right. 13 points off the top of the table, which the board was wanting at the beginning of the season as I go moving round again. And so, yep, let's crack on with this game versus Bristol City. In fact, you know what? First up, we'll have a look and see how they're doing in the championship. And, oh, they're top. Oh, I, I didn't realise that. Oh, ho, ho. Okay, well, they might be a Premiership team next year, and we're going to get a look at them here today. Uh, let's have a look at their current schedule, how they've been doing as of late. Uh, yep, yeah, quite a few ticks there. Four out of their last five, they have won. Although most of them are friendlies, actually, having a look at that. This is the World Cup year, so that's why there's friendlies in the middle of the season. So if we filter that, and we just go by... Let's just go by championship. And so, in that particular competition, they've had one game back in there. They beat Sheffield Wednesday in that. And back in October, they beat Leeds, lost to Brent, Brentford, uh, beat Rotherham. So, they're in decent form, as you would expect for a team top of the league. But, yeah. Hopefully, them only having the one competitive game, and we've not stopped playing competitive games, might help us. I don't know, I'm clutching at straws now. And so, with that out of the way, let's go and have a look at the team for today's game. In goal, we've got Anthony Herbin. At left back, we've got Tyreek Wilson. Hopkins and Jones are in the middle of the defence. Wardrop stays at right back as well. Mbala, right, Simmons, Brown is our midfield. They're always going to be our midfield. They're our first choice. They play very, very well together. So that's why I'm keeping with them. And up top, it is, of course, the ever-present Romain Mundell alongside Adam Marriott. And so, let's go and crack on with the game for today. The bookies have us at very, very long odds to win this game. Bristol City are 4-7 to win the game. We are 4-1 to one to win it. They clearly think we have not got a hope in hell. But let's hope that we can sock them and surprise them and pull off one of the bigger upsets in FA Cup history. We're in the dressing room. What do you say to your lads on a day like this? Let me know if you was in this position, what you would say. Let me know in the comments. And so, I'm going to go passing it. We're the underdogs here. Let's go and cause an upset. Or let's show the world what this team is all about. Let's show the world. And yes, ka-ching, ka-ching. think that was the correct option. Now, prediction time. We are going to go... I'm going to be optimistic. 1-1 one, one draw and we take it back to their place. Let's go for that. We are going positive, by the way. Let's have a look at the tactics proper. As you can see, we're going positive. We're going how we play all the rest of our league games. First highlight of the game, it's their man with the goal kick. Bentley, he goes long. And we don't win it back there. I thought we was going to for a second. Henry through to Masanengo. And wow, that did not take long, did it, boys? That did not take long at all. Two minutes into the game, we are behind already. And to be fair, it was a bit of non-league football that really did it for him. Keeper kicks it long, man flicks it on. One other man passes it through. And yeah, simple, simple stuff there. This could be a long day. Five minutes in now. Is this going to be Bristol second? Hornby with it. Can he curl it over the wall? He can. Oh my gosh. The finances better be good. The stadium is full for the first time ever in this save, I think. So hopefully that's helping with the finances. Because this ain't going to help with the morale for the team, I think. 
Maybe I should have rested the lads and gone for a weakened team. Sterling now with the ball for Bristol City. Into Hornby. And Wardrop clears the ball away. But goes to nobody in a blue shirt. Worrell kicks it back long. And now it's Bossira. I think that's how you pronounce it. Henry, Bossira. Bossera's cut inside. Oh, don't give away a penalty. Don't give away a penalty. Don't give away a goal. And we've done neither of those things. And we survive at just 2-0 for the minute. 15 minutes in now. Once again, Bentley with the goal kick. He goes long. And he gets flicked on again. This is so simple. Henry. Plays the ball and thankfully that's an awful shot and it goes to Herbin. Lots and lots of highlights in this game at the minute. David and Bala coming forward with the ball for us. And well just runs into a man and does nothing. And now it's Saar with the ball. He plays it back to Sterling. Can we win this back? No we can't. Sterling. What's he going to do with it? Goes to Nagy. Goes to Kalas. Goes all the way back to their keeper. You can see that we've actually had more of the ball so far. So that's one positive. But I think that's going to be changing sometime soon. Henry. To Hornby. Wilson with the interception. Goes to Adam Marriott. He's got a man out wide. Right. He goes over the top. Mundell's in. Mundell is in. Can he get us back into the game? No he can't. And the ball goes out for a corner kick. And it's right with the ball. He crosses it in and that's a poor one. Doesn't even beat the first man. And well, highlights just non-stop at the minute. Saar to Nagy. And he goes to Saar again. Over the top and Sterling is in. Sterling is in. If he can cross this, this should be 3-0. He plays it in but our keeper saves it. And we get it away. Oh, half an hour gone. We're crossing the ball into the box. It's found its way to Embalo, just giving it away. That's another mistake from him. I'm going to have to have a look after this and see how many mistakes he's been making all season. That's another one there, and it's 3-0. No, it's not. Wow, this is a very, very long game. I think I'm going to go 4-4-2 at half-time, just to give us an, an extra out ball. Because at the minute, Mario is not doing anything in this game. One more highlight before half-time. Mario into Mundell. Mundell's beaten a man there. Go for the shot. He's into the box. He's, he has gone for the shot eventually. But it's very easily saved by Bentley. Oh, and yet another one. Jesus Christ, how many highlights do we want? Masengo back to his defensive teammate, Worrell. Goes to their keeper, Bentley. And under absolutely no pressure. He's got all the time in the world. He kicks it long and hard. Oh, this is free. This is the third one. No, it's not. Good save there from Herbin. I'm being a bit too much of a pessimist, I think, right now. Nagy with the ball to whip it in. And we get it away. Mundell now. Kick it. If he can play it first time, which he can't. But Mbala wins it back. Very nicely done. Mbala, play it in. Why is Marriott not making a run? We are all too slow here. And that is disappointing. And that is half time, people. We've had six shots to their 18, four on target to their eight, and possession has been very 50 50. And so let's go and make that change that I was indeed on about. Who do we take off? I think it's Mundell we take off, if I'm honest. Get him off for Alan B. John. Or do, we, or do we want Akeem Rose? I think we might want Akeem. And as well as that, any other changes we want to make? Uh, higher tempo, I think. Higher tempo, standard passing. Uh, hit early crosses and shoot on sight, I think. And then run at the defence. And leave it at that. Yep, go for high line of engagement. That is all the changes we're making. Let's go into the team talk. Let's go assertive. I want to see much better. And they're all fired up. Come on, lads. Let's let's try and get a draw. A draw would be an amazing result. First highlight of the second half, and it does seem to be for us. Right, with the ball going over the halfway line. 
goes to Brown. And Brown back to Simmons. To right. He needs a man out wide here. He's got it. Marriott to Rose. And the ball's through. Marriott is in. And Marriott with the shot. And it's saved there. But that already looks better. Ten minutes gone in the second half. Nagy with the corner ball once again. And can our keeper come and get this? No, he can't. And Prince Henry with the goal. Who knew Bristol City had a Royal playing for them? How, how is that allowed? You can't be allowed to have a member of the Royal family here. Oh. Well. Well, that, that's going to be a stat. We've been scored against by royalty. 65 minutes gone now. Sterling to Hornby. To Sterling. And oh, what a tackle that is from Mbala. And he plays the ball long. Are we going to get this back? Yes, we do. Marriott, come on. To right. And can he play the ball? Nope, he doesn't want to. And eventually he will. It goes through to Marriott. Marriott is through. And Marriott scores. Marriott has scored against Bristol City. What a moment for the legend that is Adam Marriott. With his 27th of the season. It took Wright an absolute age to play the ball. But when he did, it was the perfect pass. And we've got a goal. We have scored. Do, 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 do. Bristol City with a free kick. 73 and a half minutes gone. Masengo plays it. And Herbin catches it but drops it at the second attempt. And finally, he picks it up. Straight away following that, Herbin's played the ball out wide to Brown. And Brown tries to play it through, but is unable to. And oh, Henry's in. He's in behind the defence. Henry with the shot. And Herbin with another save. Despite letting in three goals, I think he's had a decent game. And now Bentley plays the ball long. Saar with it. And we get it back. Nicely done there. Herbin. Is he going to play it long? Come on. If we get another goal, we're on for one of the maddest comebacks ever. Wilson with the ball, Marriott flicks it on, Rose tries to get to it, he does at the second time of asking, Wright who set up our first goal, plays the ball, nope no he doesn't, don't know why he took so long, and now Masengo to Layuki, Jones heads it away, that's a poor header, that's only gone as far as Henry, and now Hornby's in and the shot is wide, but I am going to start making some changes because we have got a game in 48 hours. So let's get Fitchett on for Brown. And I think we're going to leave it at that, I think. Or do we bring on Estrada for Simmons? Or, or Campbell for Mbala? Because Mbala's not had a great game. Yeah, let's get Campbell on for Mbala. And in fact, push them two further up. And we're going to go more direct passing and overlap on the wings. And let's see what that can do. Ten minutes remaining. The ball goes out wide. Fitch it, nods it down for Rose. He goes all the way back to Wardrop. Not, not precisely where I wanted us to go, but oh well. And we're back right exactly where we was. But now it's Bristol with the ball. Bossiwa coming forward with it. He's cutting inside. He's into the box. And oh, the shot goes and hits the bar when Wilson picks it up. One minute left of the 90. Wardrop into Simmons. He crosses the ball into the box. And that's a poor cross. And we pick it up right. Can he go out wide again? Simmons with a cross this time. Callas heads it away. And Vyman to Ferry. And Hopkins heads it away. I think we're just waiting for the referee to blow his whistle now. As Vyman's in, this will be four. No, it's another good save. What a game our keeper is having here. Oh, wow, well, look at that for an average rating for Herbin. 7.9. Wow. That's got to be the highest I've ever seen for a keeper on any FM. And, well, that is the full-time whistle. We've had 12 shots, to their 33, 6 on target, to their 14. And yeah, clear-cut chances, 6 to our 3.
55% of the ball to R45. And let's get into the dressing room. Let's go team talk. And I'm going to go passionate. I can't fault any of them for that. We gave it our best shot. And yet they're all delighted. They're all very, very happy. Well, okay. Let's have a look at how many people we had inside the stadium for that game. We had... Do, 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 down here 7,796 people so we pretty much filled the stadium and so let's see how much money that made us oh only a hundred grand that's a little bit disappointing yeah that's more disappointing than the result to be honest I was thinking we might get a couple hundred grand but I suppose the game not being on TV or anything didn't help. And so, yeah guys, on that rather deflating note, we are going to leave it there for today. If you've enjoyed that video, pop a massive thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel for more FM20 content. Follow me on Twitter at Bad Jokes Gaming. And as well as that, Check out the Passion for FM Discord, the website, the Twitter, the Facebook. All the information is down below. So check all that good stuff out. I'm going to go and sort out my nose because that's gone rather red. I've got a cold all of a sudden. So yeah, guys, I'm going to sort that out now. And I'll be back with you boys tomorrow for some more Kingsland Walks to the Prem. See you then. Bye.